It's strawberry season. Christoph is a very happy farmer. He sells his fruit across Poland and beyond. Crucial to his success are dozens of workers who pick the crop. Every one is a migrant worker from Ukraine. They do exactly the same here as Polish fruit pickers have traditionally done in England. The people who come and do this work have to make the money last for the entire year. Polish people aren't really capable of working as hard as these Ukrainians do. There is no backlash here against these guest workers. Unlike many Brexit voters in the UK, Poland sees the benefit in their presence. And so Brexit has caused much confusion. This week the British Prime Minister said she would respect the rights of Europeans already living in the UK after Brexit. But what the government can't promise is whether Poles who might want to do the equivalent job to this in England will be able to do so once the UK has left the European Union. And that lack of clarity is leading to some very difficult choices for Polish workers. Natalia runs a recruitment agency in the capital, Warsaw. Many of her clients want cleaning or other low-skilled work abroad. She advises them to go to Norway or Germany or Sweden, but Britain no longer. Until the situation is 100% clear, we recommend employees to choose either different countries or stay in Poland for the moment. Um, and then when we get exact information, you can stay in England or you can go to England or if you can go on, on which conditions, um, then we will give them <laughs> different recommendations. A year ago to the day, the biggest Polish centre in London was attacked. Everyone here knows about the anti-Polish backlash that followed the Brexit vote. And there's growing evidence that skilled as well as unskilled workers are abandoning ambitions of working in the UK. Caroline is a law graduate who had been looking for a career in Britain, but after Brexit she moved home. Now she works in one of Warsaw's biggest practices. Majority of my friends, whether Polish or from other EU countries, they actually returned home after uh, Brexit. I'm not blaming just Brexit for that, obviously there were other factors. And only minority uh, found a job and stayed in the UK and I think, uh, of course, Brexit played a role in that. Supporters of Brexit may hope that even before negotiations, much has been achieved to put Eastern Europeans off the UK. But if after Brexit the UK discovers it needs migrant labour, it may also find it increasingly difficult to get it. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, from Poland.